Thank you so much for that. Well, you've heard a lot about um, what, our, what the ambitions are in terms of research and what, it's, what it takes to fund it. But of course, it makes absolutely no sense at all unless um, we're able to measure the impact on the quality of life and whether this is actually of any value to, um, to people who are affected by the disease. So I'd like to call upon Will Ayliff and Annie Focard to talk about launching the Quality of Life Survey. I'm just going to tell you very quickly how it came about. My daughter, her psychology tutor, jo Dr. John Barry, um, was having a conversation with her about autoimmune diseases. And he said, well, of course, they affect all of your body. And she said, well, that's not true. My mum's got an autoimmune disease, and it only affects her eyes. And he said, was really very interested. And he said, oh, well, tell her to give me a call, because I'd be interested in helping um, her support group um, design a quality of life um, study if, if they were interested in that. Well, of course, I seized upon, or we seized upon the offer, what could be better? So when, then we were really delighted when my consultant, um, Will Ailey, said he'd like to be involved as well. So together, as a true patient-professional partnership, we've worked on this study I worked with John to get the ethical approval, and um, we're ready to launch it. It's, it's going on the website um, after this meeting, and Will is going to tell you more about it. Thank you, Annie, and thank all of you for being here today. Um, really special day. Um, Quality of Life Survey is the first project that's been undertaken by BUS that includes all of you and also all of the clinicians. And we hope it's going to give us a lot of information about the impact of this disease that's going to be useful not only to um, research and in other aspects of the disease, but also towards fundraising. Now, talking of carrots, I realize that I am the last person between all of you and lunch, so I shall make this as brief as I can. There's even one more before lunch. Okay, so forget that thought of carrots for a little longer and let the rumble go on. Now, people get worried when they're told they're going to be involved in research, and this is one that you don't have to be worried about. What will happen if I take part? Well, you've got a questionnaire to complete, and it's going to have some general background details, how much uveitis affects your quality of life, and how much the medications affect your quality of life, if indeed they do. And we've heard some of that uh, before, and also what medications that you're using. And we also want to know a little bit about your disease, the flare-ups, your eyesight problems, the hospital appointments, and your mood. Um, this has been based on a number of previous publications and scientifically validated questions. Um, these questions were initially developed by the um, National Eye Institute in America, who developed the original one was the um, vision functioning questionnaire with 25 questions, and these questions were targeted specifically towards um, vision outcomes as opposed to the quality of life measures that have been used for general diseases such as diabetes and other specific illnesses. Um, it generates a number of subscales relating to the global vision, difficulty with near vision, difficulty with distance, and so on. Now what we've done is to ad adapt this and to make it more relevant to birdshot patients who don't necessarily have the same um, types of eye disease problems that um, occur with, for example, cataract or other conditions. So the main purpose of this study is we're going to assess the impact that uveitis has on your quality of life. Why have you been chosen? It's because you're sitting in this room. And do you have to take part? No, but we know who you are. <laughs> now, depending on your vision and reading ability, it shouldn't take more than 15 minutes. It might take people like me 45 minutes who find it difficult to fill out questionnaires because I sort of think about the questions. Um, it's accessible online, but if you want a paper version, just ask. And if you need any help, just ask. What do you have to do? Well, you're just going to fill in a form. You're going to take any drugs? No. There's no treatment? No. Are there any side effects? You could get repetitive strain disorder filling out the form, I suppose. Um, disadvantages, we haven't thought of any minor inconvenience. And if there's any problems, you've got to complain to Annie. 
And will taking part in the study be confidential? Of course it will be. Your name will never be known to um, anybody in the publication reading the publications. And uh, you, we've said no tests, nothing horrible is going to happen to you if you take part. But if you don't take part, there's a number of horrible things that are designed for you because we'd like this to be about 96% or preferably 100. Um, confidentiality um, is assured. And what next? Well, if you look in the bags, you'll see that there's a little letter and it tells you all about how you can get hold of this survey. Now, um, there's one minute left before the last person comes up and between you and lunch, and I want to thank you all for considering taking part in this important study, and hopefully it will generate some very useful information for you and the clinicians and any other researchers involved with this disease. Thank you. <laughs>